when it was tested, again, this is research, when it was tested, showed that it had traces of cholesterol medicine, traces of heart medicine, traces of antidepressant, traces of sleeping pills, traces of um, hormonal pills, birth control, blood pressure medicine, every medicine that you can think of. Now, have they ever done a test where all these drugs are together? What does that do to the body? We have no idea. When you take more than one drug at a time, there are very few studies out there that are done. What happens if you take two drugs in the same body? What happens if you take three drugs in the same body? Yet the average American is walking around with five to six drugs in their body. We have no clue what's happening to you until you start breaking it open like this and you start looking for the underlying issues. So imagine the cholesterol medicine, the very thing that is supposed to help you have uh, prevent heart disease is actually known to cause heart disease. Crazy, right? So don't get hung up on cholesterol. Get hung up on what's damaging the cholesterol. Okay, here are the things that, are, that basically cholesterol medicines will rob you. Now, there are different types. If you look at the bottom two, I've said statins. How many of you are on statin medication? Do you know what statins are? Right, statins are the things that lower cholesterol, all right? So, uh, specifically, and then in, in terms of they, they block pathways so that you don't make cholesterol. Now, how crazy is that? Block the pathway so that you don't make cholesterol. The very building block that you need to repair, heal, and take care of all the things that I told you about. So this is why um, uh, these medications are, are something that you be, need to be very cautious about and understand that, hey, do I really need this? Just because my cholesterol is high doesn't mean you're going to end up with heart disease. Doesn't mean you're going to end up with, uh, with a stroke or a heart attack. What it means is that your body's sending a message, and the message it's sending is, hey, there's some damage in my body that I need to repair. And the way I repair that is by making cholesterol. So should we not be looking for what to repair? Does that make sense? Right? If I've got damage in my house, and I need to take, and I need to bring drywall into the house to take care of that damage or that remodeling that I need to do. Are you going to stop the trucks that are bringing in all the drywall? Say, that's no reason for drywall. Why, that? Why are you bringing all that drywall in? You already have a house. Right? That's what's important is look for what's causing the damage because cholesterol is saying, I need help with repairing things. I need help to quench the free radicals and the damage that's happening. I need help to put out the fire. There's a fire in your body, and cholesterol is what your body makes to put it out. So start talking to your doctors about saying, hey, let's look for where the fire is. Let's look for the underlying issues. And maybe we can do something about it. And that's the kind of stuff that we really get into. Right? Because as a pharmacist, I can really kind of look at that and then start digging into all the other things. And that's why I went on and became more educated and became board certified as a clinical nutritionist. Became board certified for addiction because so many people end up on addictive medications. Right? Benzodiazepines, Valium, Xanax, all that stuff. And then pain medications and opioids, Percocet. Vicodin, 